What's going on everybody? Minnow reporting to you folks live on the Minority vs. Predator channel here on a good old 2BU. So in recent days, I've been running an experiment with my decoy. What I've chosen to do is be a little bit more of an asshole to these guys and just be more standoffish, just try to get them out of my life as quickly and as rudely as possible. Mainly because I want to show you parents or soon to be parents out there that even if your son or daughter ends up on a site like this, and even if they have the knowledge to actually push these individuals away, Way, a lot of them are just going to keep coming back and they're just going to keep chipping away at it until eventually your son or daughter just gets tired of them and either blocks the profile or even worse they just do whatever that person asks of them so they could just go on and you know be a kid and shit and what you guys are about to hear is not for the faint of heart so with that being said today's individual his name is Mark and we had one hell of a verbal sparring match and every verbal obstacle I put in his way he leaps over it seamlessly so this individual messages me on the Meet Me app and he starts out with damn you're hot. First thing I do is tell him hey I'm 14. Text me baby. He gives me his phone number. I want you. Question marks please. Baby I love you. And here is where the child grooming begins. Oh and side note this guy has ruined emojis and pet names for me. For the rest of my life I will never be able to actually have a, a healthy functioning relationship because he's ruined everything great about what a man could possibly do and say to his woman. Let's move over to the text messages. As you see it's January 18th. Hi is this Alexi? I love your pic on the text site. Question marks can I see a pic of you? This here is the profile picture that I have up there. You're not gonna see the body, it's just the face. So just hang on to that information. Can I see a pic of you? So I send him another selfie, just a face. Damn, you're beautiful. Why are you on that site, if I may ask? I said I was bored. I love all the pics you had on there. Got me hard as a rock. And he says all those pics, and yet all I have is one. You don't mind me being 14, I said. Most of these guys, they need a constant reminder because <laughs> they're fucking stupid. Hell no, as long as your parents don't know. We aren't doing anything wrong though. I know, but I could get into a lot of trouble with your parents if they knew how old I was. Oh, how old are you? Promise not to tell? Yeah, promise. 55, I hope that's not too old to be friends. Bunch of question marks, I say it's fine. He says, you don't have a boyfriend? No, I don't. As hot as you are, guys must be blind and stupid. <laughs> and I say, no, I tend to attract the stupid ones. As in these kitty fiddlers. I feel sorry for those idiots. They don't know what they're missing. Not even a little bit. If they saw what I did, most of them would be walking around with a heart on. What did you do? Inquiring minds would like to know, Marcus. The pics I saw of you on the site, very hot. Wish I was young enough to be your boyfriend. Are you getting ready for school? Uh, since when is school on a Saturday, LOL. Oh yeah, duh. So what are your plans for today? Going swimming? Bet the boys drool when they see you in a bikini. So the creep factor went from zero to 100 expeditiously. Then I say, who in the right mind goes swimming in a bikini in the middle of January? I never said I was in the right mind. Where I live, you can. Where do you live? Florida. Well, I'm in Jersey, so that's not happening. It's almost always warm enough to go swimming. What part of Florida are you in, Marcus? Down around Miami. Oh, nice. Wish you were here? Not even a little bit. You must love the cold. That's not the case. I just read the news online about Florida. Y'all got people taking bath salts and eating people's faces and shit. I'm cool, right where I am. <laughs> That's not normal, lol. Most of us are just fine. We just look at each other in our bathing suits and drool. I love you, blue eyes. What you doing now, baby? Hello? Guess you went to sleep. I love you, baby. Text me when you wake up, my love. I would love to see some of the pics you had on the chat site. A bunch of kissy face emojis and shit. I wasn't asleep. I'm just not glued to my phone like all the other 14 year olds. Okay, my love, a bunch of hearts, kissy faces, and a fucking rose. Oh my god. LOL, yeah. I love you. Can I see some pics of you you had on that chat site, my love? Question marks? No. Why not? It's not like I asked for nudes. Well, I'm well within my rights to say no. I know, baby girl. I still love you. And I go, right. I do. I wish you were my girl friend. Why? Because you're so young and hot. I fell in love with the first time I saw your pics. You still there, my love? My name is Alexi. Every time you called me my love, my stomach went sour. So I had to stop that. Okay, you don't want me to call you my love? No, I don't. That's what my mom calls me. Okay, by the way, how old are you again? LOL, I know you're 14. I still love you. I want to be your boyfriend. You're the only person I'm talking to because I want you. Hello, my lover. Are you there? And here, I actually handed the phone to my coworker because he wanted to say something. So he just said, nothing laying down in bed with my mom right now. And he goes, cool, I'll leave you alone. Text me when you get a chance. And then I just say, it's all good. The mom might go look at my phone and shit. I'm a grown ass man. I love you, bunch of rose emojis, but you just met me. I'm still in love with you and want to be your boyfriend. I just plain want you. Hello, sweetness. 
Okay. I want your hot body. Your body turns me on. How? I seen your pics on chat room. We'll love to see more. I'm laying on my bed stroking and uh, oh wow. My grandma had a stroke a couple months ago. You should go to the hospital and get that checked out. You know what I mean. I'm stroking my hard eight inch cock. Eight inches, question mark? Yup. You want? That's it? Just trying to emasculate him a little bit. It's thick too, three inches around. As tight as you are, it would hurt as it stretched you. Damn, I want your pussy on my face. I know I've been rather lighthearted with this, but as I'm rereading these chats, I'm actually getting very nauseous and I'm getting very disturbed all over again. I say, oh nice, I love hot young pussy, it's so sweet. I want to fill your mouth with cum till it's so full it dribbles out the side. Sounds extravagant. Nope, your sopping wet pussy will take my thick cock right after I come in your mouth. Girls your age can't keep my cock down. How many other girls my age have you been with? A few. Were they virgins like me? Yes. Did they cry at all? If they were like tight and stuff? Just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to see how young these girls are without openly asking their ages as of yet. And he says, no, I got them so wet that their hymen was easy to break. All they did was moan and grab my ass. They were tight, but sloppy wet. And then I asked, so they were 14 as well? And he says, 13. 14 and 16 and the first thing I thought was well, maybe this was when he was like 17 or 18 and I asked him Okay, that's cool. How long ago was this? He goes several years ago I'm horny for more just thinking about it and you is making me hard. How long is several though? He goes at least three years He's mentioned having sex with 13 14 and 16 year old while he was most definitely an adult and Now I'm nauseous again Oh, it's not that long, silly, haha. -ha. Maybe. Are you getting wet? And here's where the verbal sparring starts. This is the part of the video where it's gonna be like, I was just trying to be very lighthearted, but I'm not. I'm just gonna go right through it now. As wet as the Sahara. Nope, as wet as a flowing river. As wet as Arizona in July. No, as wet as the Mississippi. No, as wet as someone's mouth three bites into a Popeye's biscuit. No, not dry at all. Wet as the Amazon River. No, it's dry like your humor. Why you keep saying they dry? Because you keep saying it's wet, duh. I'm only telling you the truth. Me too, I'm dry right now. You would be if I was there. Oh no, trust me. Even if you were still here, I would be very dry. I don't have that kind of anatomy, my guy. If you were here right now, I would make you extremely wet. You have cum running down your ass. Oh, you don't have what it takes to make me wet. Wanna bet I'd be tongue fucking your ass as I shove three fingers deep in your pussy. Mark, you don't have what it takes. You keep thinking that. It's not just a thought, it's a fact. If you were here, I would not get wet at all. I promise you I won't. You don't have what it takes. With the experience I have, you don't know. The only way I'm getting wet is if you splash a bucket of water on me. I'm not gonna argue with you. Is it because you know you'll fail, hee <laughs> hee? Nope, I know my skills, I won't fail. Okay, if you say so, Mr. Eight inch long and three inch wide, I speak the truth, no reason to lie. Oh, trust me, I believe every word you've said thus far. Sure you do. Well, I believe everything you've said, not including the whole wet thing, but I believe everything else, unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Trust me, I really would love to have your hot body on top of me. I'm laying on my bed wishing you were with me. I would love to feel your hot, moist mouth around my hard cock. Fuck me, baby. Fuck me. Do you ever have time to like eat anything or are you in bed all day? I just got home from work, ate pork chops and wild rice and then lay down on my bed naked. Damn, I wish I could see that hot body again. Those pics from the chat room got me so horny. Once again, it's just a picture of a face. Oh nice, where do you work? Security guard. I want your hot body, my love. That's not my name. Alexi, give me your hot body. You haven't earned it. How do I earn your hot body? Hmm. Please tell me what I need to do to earn your hot body. I'm waiting for an answer. What do I have to do to earn your hot body? Bunch of question marks. I'm horny for your 14 year old pussy. I'm well aware, which is all I could really say in this moment. You never answered my question. What was it? How do I earn your hot body? Oh, psh, like you ever had a chance. You're such a tease. No chance. I wanna fuck you, silly. You're a limp dick, bitch. Nope, don't think so. In all seriousness though, you wanna know what you have to do? Yeah, two words. Okay, what? Violent castration. Seriously, stop teasing me. Fine, I'll bump it down a bit. Chemical castration. I'm being serious and you fuck it with me. Me too. Totally serious. 100% serious. I really want your body. Honestly, why you wanna fuck with my head? Wait, which head are we talking about? My little head wants your pussy, but you fucking with the big head. My brain. Well, good thing you've got two because I'm only asking to castrate one. The one on my shoulders, I hope. That's useless. Your existence is useless. I know. 
Did we just have a breakthrough? I'm useless, but still wanna fuck you, silly. Would love to see what your hot body looks like. You can't see anything if the head on your shoulders is castrated, though. I don't need to see the feel, just my fingers, tongue, and cock. I really would love to see some hot pics of you. None of that matters if you're headless. I still got both heads for now. Yeah, till we get those laws changed. Age don't matter to me. As long as you care about each other, it's good. No, it's not good. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> if you like someone, age don't matter. I like you even if you're 14. Would we'll love to be your boyfriend for real. Do you really like me and just don't want to say? No, I really hate you. I just can't yell it loud enough. I really love you. I just can't say it enough. I love you. I want you. I need you. <laughs> Mark, it's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. You need to go to your closest Baptist church. Go repent for your sins. That's if you don't burst into flames the moment you walk through the door. I'd rather burst into you. I'd rather go jump off a building, but we all can't get what we want. I know I'm frustrated. I want to see your hot and naked body, gorgeous. And what I said next, it's, it's a bit fucked up, but it's the truth. Clearly, the best form of opposmentism is a bullet in your head. Leave me alone, please. Okay, bye. You know, I got ready to do this video and make it all fun and shit, trying to make it funny, <laughs> you know, have some comedic timing, but I just kind of forgot just how sick I got talking to him. Let's find Mr. Mark, who lives close to Miami. Here is a majority of his phone number, in case someone happens to know him, but is thinking that this isn't real. I want to prove the fact that I'm talking to this person legitimately, without doxing him, of course, because that could kind of be illegal. And as for you parents out there, even if you do have an asshole for a child who has a lot of common sense, these guys won't stop and you'll see that with the next few guys that I'm gonna cover in uh, uh, a few future videos. So with that being said, Minnow's out and I'll be sure to see you soon. Yep, thanks.